So I'm on a Linux machine and uh, get into uh, Python editors because you can use a simple console to create your Python programs, but you might prefer some more graphical editor with all kind of extra features. So I'll just show you a list of editors that you can install. Uh, you will only need one editor. So we'll go to pythonspot.com and go to the introduction section. Then you find a, a list of editors uh, on the bottom here. So all kind of different programs uh, that you can use to do to program Python that make life a little bit easier. So for example, the PyCharm is, is pretty popular. Um, and this editor, you, you have syntax highlighting and all kind of things. Um, so it seems they also have a video tour here. And you can download the community edition for free uh, in this program. Uh, so you can download it uh, depending on your platform, Mac, Windows, or Linux. Uh, so this is just one of the editors you can use. Uh, there are several. You can use Adam. Uh, if you're on a, an Apple device, like an iPad or an iPhone, you can use the Pythonista uh, program. So you can do uh, Python programming directly from your uh, iPhone. Uh, so it really depends on your uh, preference. There's a lot of editors, uh, and you even have some online editors, so you can run them. Uh, okay, this one's not working, um, and you can do the coding directly um, on the web. So, for example, you can have some program here, some Python program, and press run, and it starts running. So it really depends on the kind of programming environment you want to work with. Uh, but I do recommend you use any of these editors, um, any of these programs uh, to do your Python programming. It makes life easier. Uh, but alternatively, if you're really a, a Unix or a Linux user, uh, you could simply uh, edit the files directly. So whether you use Vim or Emacs or whatever, uh, to write your programs. So in this case I'm not a Vim user so I don't have that uh, installed but you can use any editor you want. Uh, for example you can even use Nano if, if you're into that. You can type access tree. And notice we saved it as test.py so we can execute it and we get the output. Uh, so it really depends. You might prefer some graphical environments with lots of features or you might prefer something more light white. But on the website, it shows you a list of all the options. Uh, otherwise, you can simply use the terminal itself.